It's a given hospitals supply their patients with intravenous saline solution, but now hospitals across the country are facing a shortage of the liquid, in part because of the flu season has been increasing its demand, and to make matters worse, one of three saline makers had a plant shut down. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt reports on a, how a Baptist Hospital in Beaumont is dealing with its saline supply. It's something you see throughout hospitals, intravenous saline solution, and it's in short supply. And right now we don't have much. We are trying to replace the liter bags with the 500 ml bags. But I talked to my buyer today and he said that they're having trouble getting the 500 bags as well. Which leaves hospitals nationwide searching for alternatives. The other alternatives would be using lactated ringers or other isotonic solutions, but the problem is they are also short right now. John V. Curry is a clinical pharmacist for Baptist Hospital. She says a saline shortage is just as important as any other drug shortage. Everybody uses and nobody thinks about saline as a drug and you use that a lot. Now once you have a shortage, you understand how much you're using. And it's, it's mainly because the plant is down and the other manufacturers have to uh, make up for the downtime. Hospitals use IV solutions for surgeries to rehydrate patients and to give nutrients to patients who can't eat. And we also need fluids to make drugs. Like if a patient uh, needs to get an antibiotic, we have to put that antibiotic in a bag. Baptist Hospital in Beaumont just received a shipment of about 1,300 saline solution bags. They go through about 1,400 bags in a week and are already looking for their next shipment. We are trying to move around the stock we have in the hospital, like ER uses a lot, ICU uses a lot, so we are trying to allocate drug to the appropriate floors, notifying the physicians of the shortage and asking them to really evaluate the need for IV fluids in these patients. Making sure patients who need it most will have it. In Beaumont, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. The clinical pharmacist says it is possible to make intravenous saline solution, but time and resources would be too demanding.